it's already time for another new Splatfest. This time, as I predicted, we've forecasted a Legend of Zelda themed Splatfest. And the theme is exactly what I was hoping for. Power versus Wisdom versus Courage. I'm super excited for this Splatfest since I had a lot of fun with the previous one and this one has a better topic overall in my opinion. Typically, I have a clear understanding of who will win and who will lose, but the deciding factor in this seems very unclear after the results of the previous Splatfest. But as much as I love the new theme, that's not why I'm making this video today. In case you all have been living inside Death Mountain and haven't got any signal to check Twitter.com, we found out that the new tricolor turf war stage is Scorch Gorge. And, even crazier, a completely new layout that we've never seen before is going to debut. This is quite unmistakably in the shape of a Triforce, and from the layout it genuinely looks like a completely new spin on Tricolor Turf War. Without any further ado, let's get discussing. I'd like to start off by saying that this is the perfect stage choice. Scorch Gorge reminds me of Gerudo Valley. Not many other stages in Splatoon 3 have this sort of Zelda-like aesthetic, and I think that the choice here was absolutely perfect. The valleys and deserts that you find in Zelda are very notable and consistent areas. Zelda stuff aside, let's look at the stage layouts itself. For those of you who haven't heard the word geometry before, an equilateral triangle has three equal sides and angles of 60 degrees. So you'd think that all three teams will be equal this time around, right? Well, not exactly. While I'd kill for a 3 vs 3 vs 3 format, as you can see if you look closely, some things like ramps and balloons are not symmetrical. This leads me to believe that there will still be attacking and defending roles, since obviously, if all sides equal, the fight isn't fair. There is a very small, minuscule chance that we do actually get a 3 on 3 on 3 format, but it is not likely at all. So this means that one defending team will take a side of the Triforce, and the attacking teams will take up the other two sides. It's hard to tell how this will play out, since this means that the number of players per side is uneven. Does this mean that the attackers will have an advantage, since the defenders will have to cover two sides of the Triforce? How will chargers and other backline weapons position? We've never had to deal with the shape before in Splatoon, so dealing with it and developing strategies will be so, so much fun! Also, does this confirm the return of Shifty Stations? I don't want to say I called it, but I kinda did say in my previous video that this would be a great addition. Just saying. Shoutouts to the bipedal squid, who not only saw my video, but even made an entire video about a triangular tricolor layout, and got it. I bet he's absolutely over the moon right now. Even if his design for the stage is way better. And you guys should absolutely check it out, links in the description. I'm super excited for the upcoming Splatfest, and I love the approach that Nintendo are taking to really diversify each Splatfest. These events have recently felt so unique every single time instead of just being a Turf War weekend because of the balance patches and the new weapons being released and the new stages now, it's great. I love the direction the Splatfests have been going in, and these have the potential to be the best in the series yet if this momentum keeps up. I'll be making a third video sometime in the future responding to your comments on my tricolor video, so stick around for that one. But aside from that, have a great day and I'm super excited for this upcoming Splatfest. Take care everyone.